Yo, was this scene? Devon X got back um, with, with, with my real bro, Edward Charles, behind the camera. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. Anyway, so today, so today I have the, the iPhone 10. I actually have it in white and black, thanks to Mr. Illuminate Photography himself and Ramstech, Praveen from Ramstech. I'll leave both of their links below in the description. I need to check them out. Because they link them up. They link them up with the iPhone 10. I'll oh, check them out. So we have the two today. We have the white and the black. So the first thing I'll talk about in the iPhone 10 is the design. So of course, or oh, you know me, I like the black a little more. Although I thought I like the white until I see the black. But yeah, let me, let me talk before I touch it. Well, I'm going to touch it now. So before we actually get to the phone and start talking about it, let me just do this. Because I was going to get my fingerprint anyway. So let me talk about the white and the black. If you know you're somebody who likes to eat real plenty doubles and your hand always oily, just, just buy the white one because the black one not going to be your friend. The black one, fingerprints like that. However, the, the upside of the white one though is that no fingerprints. Well, it have fingerprints, but you're not going to see it that much. But it have chrome, it have chrome sides, so you're going to scratch up. Ah, boy, AirPods, AirPods. Oh, shock, I'll throw it on. <laughs> yeah, so the white one, it have the white glass in the back, which is kind of, you don't see fingerprints that much. But the trade-off is that the sides chrome like the old iPods and them so you're going to scratch, you're going to scratch. If you're somebody who's wake up any night to plug your phone to charge, you're going to dig up the bottom here and it's going to show. Trust me. Just believe me on that one. The black one though. Yeah, yeah. The, the black one is it. The black one is it. But fingerprint galore. Look at that. You can probably even see them fingerprints there. Yeah, you can see the fingerprints already. Fingerprint galore. But the sides black, it just kind of have an understated, kind of rugged look. Like if you're using the black one, it kind of... I think the black one is, ah, uh, well, you know, I was gonna like the black one anyway, you know. Anyway, so that's, yeah, the black one move faster. <laughs> so yeah, that's the design. The second thing is your screen. Of course, the screen, because that's like the major selling point. Look at this. Look at that, look at all that screen real estate. And the screen itself, I have my 7 Plus in my pocket right now, and I pull it out and show it something, but um, that's not gonna work out, because I'm probably gonna shake the table, and I'm probably gonna have three phones to hold, and I have two hands, that's not gonna work out, that's not gonna work out, but believe me, the screen's bigger than the 7 Plus. So it's the first OLED display that Apple ever make, and it, it real, it calibrated perfectly. Trust me on that one, the True Tone. So the True Tone actually make my 7 Plus feel real outdated, because my 7 Plus, all the whites look blue now. So I actually went and turned on night mode and played to the first notch, so it kinda look like this. But yeah, I have zero complaints about the iPhone 10, except the inconsistencies in the operating system. So let's like say I have a 7 Plus and you swipe up for control center. Do that on the iPhone 10 now. You don't want to get control center. You know what you're gonna get? You're gonna go to the home screen. That's not making any sense. You wanna get control center, you have to swipe down from the top right. You wanna get notifications, you have to swipe down from the top left. You wanna go home, you have to swipe up from the bottom. It just it, it have a little learning curve. It have a little learning curve if you're somebody who uses an iOS for a while now. Have a slight learning curve, but you'll get accustomed to it. I already accustomed to it, and I don't, I don't have a problem with it at all. It's just inconsistent, that's all. But I'm pretty sure all iPhones moving on from this one going to be the same exact thing. So this is just the one that will get you accustomed to it. The second thing that everybody talking about is the notch. Um, I noticed the notch for about two days, and then it disappeared. And I know some people, the OCD going to get the best of them with the notch and not going to be able to use it. I not one of those people, I actually don't mind the notch. Face ID, amazing. Amazing. The best part is the fact that if you try to look at this right now, you're just going to see notification here. But if I look at it and see my face, it's going to bring down the actual details of the notification. Privacy on point. Privacy on point. So now you can comfortably give your girlfriend your phone. She's not going to be able to see your notifications. You, you could just be like, hey, babe, take my phone. And you're not going to worry, no boy, because it's going to be real, a real cool scene. But yeah, so going back to the design again, something you should keep in mind between the black and the white as well is the look at it from the front. So if you're looking at the white one, You'll see the slight chrome outline, but the black one just stealth. Just pure stealth. You should buy the black one. You should, you should buy the black one in. <laughs> and, and the camera protrusion on the back. So both of them protrude the exact amount, but um, the white one is just a little more noticeable. The black one kind of blending with it. The white one is stick on like a sore thumb, but it actually don't look that bad. I, I don't mind it. Because it have the chamfer around it to match with the outside. So and next thing I do is I have one complaint about is the fact that you can't change these shortcuts on the lock screen. So yeah, pressing them just feel real nice, like real nice. <laughs> yeah, pressing them just feel real nice, but you should not be able to customize it. We're probably gonna get an update in. Probably they're gonna be like, we just released the most revolutionary thing in the world. You can change your lock screen shortcuts, and then the Android fanboy is gonna jump on and be like, well, we gotta do that all the time. And then the Apple fanboy is gonna be like, I don't care. Apple never used to do it, but they could do it now, so they perfect it, so it's better than Android. And the Android people are gonna be like, oh, welcome to 2017 wireless charger. And the Apple people are gonna be like, we don't care. Yeah, I could go real far with this conversation, but let me let me just stop it right there. But yeah, that's basically my first impressions of the iPhone 10. I absolutely love it. Um, in terms of the price. 
if you're an iOS user, if you're an iPhone user, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, it kind of would be price if you think about it, because you're getting like a real, yeah, yeah, premium, you get a premium feel, you're getting like the screen on point, it's still in the ecosystem, AirDrop, the best thing in the world, still there. Um, if you have the if you have the budget for it and you're considering it, I'd highly recommend it. Have no reason I can tell you not to buy the iPhone 10 unless your budget is something smaller. So yeah, that's pretty much my first impression of the iPhone 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, shout out to my bro Edward for helping me shoot this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.